This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by my team. Undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Well, DC's been all over this great nation before. The laser right on the encounter. Tonight, though, we are in Rio de Janeiro. How was the flight, my man? You're holding up pretty well. It's rough flying to Rio de Janeiro. It's hard for me. It's from California, but the moment I step foot in here, I know that I'm in for a great fight, and I'm also in for a great crowd. People that are very knowledgeable about the sport of mixed martial arts and very fast. Straight punch is good. Beautiful block there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Nice leg kick. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Frantic pace early on to this one. Certainly getting after it early. Strong outside leg kick. Well, 
Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Straight punch lands. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there, really doing a nice job stringing the shots. Together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Big kick. Under three minutes now to go in the round. The uppercut flails and misses. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Oh, this is not good. That right eye starting to shut. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now. It clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Well, you saw us referencing the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jet. Blocks the shot. Nice job to set up the counter there. He waited patiently, and when his opponent got a little bit over-aggressive, he greeted him with a beautiful counter. Nicely done. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing stroke. Every stroke. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Back and forth we go. to the body while he continues to stay busy and he continues oh. well at this point he is really timing things out well it looks like he'll try to set up another combination of counter strikes here he'll try to bait his opponent in and ultimately use that over aggressiveness against him well he lands another strike there dc and no surprise the swelling only getting worse it's getting worse you know we talked about this very early how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get back. Oh, body kick attempt here at Snowball. You heard him again. Thirty seconds in the round. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So, under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Oh. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh. Round two is next. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, let's get to round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Nice job by him defensively there. Just misses there with the left. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. 
He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the butt that would end the night. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some butt. Another one. Oh. Oh, nice. Just missed with the leg kick. So once again, leaning on that long reach as he counters effectively with a jab to the head. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack. Oh! Oh, he's wobbling now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And now some separation. Always be... Oh, he got it. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him. You see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes on. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. We go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, eight seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite! Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.